Hello there, I'm Daria. Welcome back to the Mavavi vlog, your go-to channel for creating cool videos. I'll bet you have seen this symbol before, so you're quite aware of what it means. Copyright! Yep, that's what it's called. This symbol indicates that a particular work, such as an audio recording, video, text, or anything along these lines, belongs to its creator or another group of people who have specific rights to use or copy the work. If a YouTube video includes non-original content that violates copyright, it can be deleted by YouTube. That's what we are going to talk about today. Want to know how to use other YouTubers' videos without getting slapped with copyright violation by YouTube? Stay tuned! What if you badly need to use some footage from other YouTubers' videos, like we here at the Movavi Vlog do all the time? YouTube Help offers links to many articles on copyright. To save you time, we decided to go through them all for you. We have studied the articles carefully and have brought together all the relevant information in one episode. Let us start with copyright myths. For example, one of the most widespread misunderstandings among YouTubers is that the best way to avoid a copyright strike is to give credit to the copyright owner. There is also a myth that uploading someone else's video for entertainment or non-profit use is somewhat different or special. Now, I nearly forgot the fantasy that everything will be fine if you add just a little something of your own to someone else's video. No. None of this will work. Remember, the copyright owner can still claim your video even if you have stated you are not the author of some parts of the video, given credit to the owner of the copyrighted work, switched off the monetization of the video, purchased the content on iTunes, CD or DVD, or captured the content yourself from TV, radio or a movie. None of this fulfills the requirement of fair use of videos protected by copyright, which the standard YouTube license requires. Most YouTube videos are uploaded under the standard YouTube license, even yours. The simplest way to get permission to use the copyrighted content is to reach out to the creator via message and ask them for permission to use their material. Hi, my name is Rowan and this is the show I can explain. Let's sort the things out. If you still want to use parts of someone else's video, but you have no way to contact the copyright owner, review the fair use guidelines. First of all, consider the size of the segment you want to use. Take just a tiny one. 15 seconds, for example, probably won't be any problem. But if this tiny part includes the main idea of someone else's work, or a spoiler, your video can possibly be deleted. Secondly, you must interpret, not just copy. Your work must be transformative. It means that if you insert a part of someone else's work into your own, you must add, for instance, your own commentary or create a video mashup. Thirdly, you can use parts of videos based on factual works. It's generally about news and scientific videos. Let's say an educational piece about a meerkat family or news about Prince Harry's wedding, these are commonly known facts. There is no fictional element, so segments of videos like these can be used by other YouTubers. Probably. And finally, use of copyrighted footage can be considered fair if the copyright owner has not lost any money because of your video. Let's sum it up. For successful use of someone else's video, you need to only use small portions of the original work and apply transformative character to your video. You can also use commonly known facts, but never intend to bring any commercial harm to the copyright owner. But here's the thing, sometimes even copyright owners forget about fair use guidelines and request that YouTube delete inoffensive videos. YouTube can ask them to set their claims aside. If you're sure your video doesn't infringe the owner's copyright, you can dispute the claim. And now you're probably thinking there is no 100% way to use other YouTubers' content in your channel. But wait, there actually is. YouTube, along with other social media, works with the Creative Commons license. This means that videos uploaded under the Creative Commons license can be partly or entirely used for distribution, translated into other languages, dubbed, and more, if you're maintaining special terms. Check out the license of the video you need. You've seen the Creative Commons note? 
you can use the contents of the video freely. Then you should note in your video the title or description, the copyright owner's name or nickname, information about any changes you've added to the original content, and insert a link to the text of the Creative Commons license. This kind of license also presupposes you can use all these terms in any possible ways. For example, if you're not able to include each point in your title or description, you can just add a link to the original video or any other source that contains all the information required. That's awesome! Many popular YouTubers use the Creative Commons license, which is really great for other creators who make useful transformative content, such as translations, for example. Jenna Marbles uses Creative Commons so that the Comedy Store channel can frequently upload translations of her videos for Russian users. Pretty much the same thing with the Cut and Just Thoughts channels. This second one exists due to transformative content too. Too much information, huh? Ok, let's recap the key points. YouTube has two kinds of license. A standard one, which protects a work according to copyright law, and the Creative Commons license, which allows other YouTubers to partly or entirely use someone else's original videos. So what's the difference? If you use videos uploaded under the standard YouTube license, you have to ask the copyright owner for permission or follow fair use guidelines. The Creative Commons license allows for many ways of using someone else's content, but you must know the ownership information in all possible ways. Well, I guess that's all for now. Follow the latest updates on the Mobami vlog. By the way, we've got this fascinating episode on metadata. Check it out! So, feel free to subscribe, click the thumbs up, and leave your comments in the section below. Bye!